Hey there guys, uh, hope you're doing great. In this video I want to showcase a very interesting use case of uh, GPT-4 Turbo with Vision. So during OpenAI Dev Day uh, that happened a couple of days ago, um, there, uh, there was a lot of different things that were presented to that. A, a, new, a new model, a GPT-4 Turbo, um, Assistant API and a bunch of other stuff. I want to focus on one specific thing that not many people focused on and it was the API related to multimodal, uh, multimodalities. So in this way you can use the API to access models such as GPT Turbo with Vision, DALI to create images or text to speech and this enables a, a bunch of different use cases. One of my clients was very interested in creating a, a lead analysis tool based on websites, based on website URL. So uh, the goal was to focus on the website, look at the website and see whether the website is updated or not based on some specific criteria. So what, uh, what I noticed uh, is that this was something that was, uh, was present in uh, ChatGPT. Uh, when it comes to uh, the interface. So this was already present in the interface. I could upload an image, talk, uh, talk to the chat GPT and say, uh, does it feel like this website is updated or not? And based on that, it could give me a, a specific subset of uh, information related to the website. But uh, there was no way of this uh, being able to be used in other ways, such as a lead generation, for example, where we have a bunch of uh, websites, a bunch of uh, uh, yeah, a bunch of links that we add into a spreadsheet and analyze those. So here's the uh, the flow that we have over here. We start off with Google Sheets and we watch for new rows inside Google Sheets. This is because we have a file like the following where we add domains, status, confidence scores, outdated elements, updated elements and so on. So here uh, what we can do is we can add multiple domains to the, uh, to the file. Uh, when new domains are added, uh, this domain is checked for the website status. If the website status is, uh, uh, is good, uh, is uh, 200, uh, then it retrieves an image. If it's not, it gives uh, a 404 uh, error. So here, for example, there's a, a get image file um, API call. So with this API call, and I know this uh, API key is uh, available, but this is just a free of the many uh, different services. So with this API call, what we do is uh, we capture a screenshot of the full website. So uh, imagine, for example, that I do a screenshot of this website over here right now. And then we convert the image uh, to, uh, to PNG or JPEG to make sure that we can use that in the lead analyzer. So this is the most interesting part that wasn't available before. Uh, we created a lead analyzer with the following prompt. Act as a lead analyzer for a web design agency. Main job, your job is uh, uh, to look at the image and understand whether the website is outdated or updated uh, in regards to 2023 standards. And then we, get, uh, we, um, we have an expected output, which is a JSON file that we want. Now, we want a JSON file because this, is, uh, uh, this can be easily uh, processed inside uh, Google Sheets. So we can have information such as whether the website is updated or updated. What is the confidence score of, of this? Which are the outdated elements? Which are the updated elements? And what is an explanation for that? Now, uh, after that, we parse the text because uh, uh, usually when, uh, when getting the response, uh, we always have a JSON um, a string at the beginning. So what we do is uh, parse that and then we parse into JSON so that we can update the rows with uh, all the information. We can, add, uh, we can add information such as the status, the confidence score, the outdated element, updated element, and an explanation. In this way, it's uh, um, once you have a lot of websites that you want to analyze, you can simply use uh, uh, GPT with Vision to analyze that in a faster way. So uh, I thought this was a really interesting use case. Quick video for you. Um, uh, there are a lot more use cases that we can add and if you want to uh, have more 
uh, use cases if you're interested in discovering how you can actually apply AI to your business I open up a couple consultation slots so check the links in the description so we can have a talk together discuss how AI can be applied to your company to speed up different workflows and different processes that's everything for me bye bye